opposition has to say. Uh, crossing over to you, Victor, right now. Well, uh, Betty, I'm still here with Lee Kinyanjui. We are in Nakuru at the uh, Krita Primary School Polling Center in Nakuru Town East. And uh, asked Lee about um, what he thinks about the preparedness of uh, the election, the nomination process. And uh, he told me that it, it is too early. So, Lee, we've, uh, as a leader, I mean, you've been a member of parliament before here in Nakuru. The current wave, or rather the voting pattern of the electorate we've seen in Baringo, uh, Governor Cheboy was sent packing. Uh, we've seen what has happened in Kiambu. What do you have to say about that? I think there's a very interesting scenario that is unfolding in the country um, where the public have tried to voice, you know, uh, through civilized ways, sometimes trying to impeach the governor, sometimes through the auditor general, but the reality is that because these pe are people who are very well resourced, you can never be able to get them out of office. You can never, even the Auditor General report just becomes another report. So in reality, what the public is simply trying to do is to say, you may snook us on all these other areas, but we have the final say when it comes to the ballot. And I think the resolve is very high, uh, partly also because the promise of devolution was very high. And... Uh, Many people know what to expect of devolution. They know that the road next to them, the market around there, the hospital, those are areas that devolution was meant uh, to address. But largely, many of them have remained promises. So I think uh, th there's some anger that is being uh, displayed through the voting by the public. And uh, I think it is catching in terms of momentum. And we are bound to see it in a lot of these areas. Actually, irrespective of the parties, that anger is visible. Uh, looking at the Nakuru the gubernatorial race. You have you, we have Lee, uh, sorry, you have Lee, we have, uh, that is you, we have Motudo, we have Kinudi. I mean, those are the three front runners we can talk as at now. Yes. How are you looking, how, how is it? How, I mean, how you, how can you gauge it? Uh, I know of only one uh, front runner, but uh, I think for now, the, the most important thing is that uh, the public is very keen. And actually, if you look at uh, the aborted nomination on Friday, Friday. We had as many as 2,000 people already in the polling center by about uh, 7 o'clock in the morning in most of these urban areas, including Nakuru. And that just shows you that there is a message that uh, is, these people are, are, are dying to, to, to cast. And uh, in my view, that is a vote for change. And uh, that change is born out of the fact that uh, there have been too many false starts. You know, like you are told, there will be a new constitution, everything will change. Finally, it came. Uh, that the new the devolved units would come and solve all our problems again they came maybe not much has changed back there so there's a wave of change especially at the county level where people say we sent you to go and do this work you did not do it but i think for nakuru uh, our situation is even worse because when you rank even all the other counties we were at number 43 out of 47 so although we have a general problem across we have a particular one here in nakuru of underperformance uh, misuse of public resources and uh, blatant corruption at the county level. Uh, final one, Lee, if you make it today and hopefully in August, what should the people of Nakuru expect from you as a leader? I think the first thing is to prioritize uh, development because uh, at the end of the day, people are looking at issues that are of importance to them, issues to do with the immediate development, markets, agriculture, health, uh, and all those issues that really relate to the ordinary person. But I think also the lesson we are learning today is that the first governors were more interested in the pickings of power, in the titles, in the motorcades they have, in protocol, how many bodyguards they have, and even titles. If you called a governor without mentioning that he was his excellency, you would be in trouble. So I, I think the public is saying we don't care about all those little small things. What matters are the things that affect the ordinary one ninety. And I think as uh, we go into this, I'm very hopeful of victory. And our first issue will be to avoid the non-issues to Wanjiko, such as powers and titles and the trappings of power, and focus on the real things.